Yesterday, we, I was driving in the morning and I was a little excited because I looked at the GPS and we were going to arrive at our destination at 12, 17, 12, 18, something like that. We didn't actually arrive until after four. Um, Steve wanted to stop to see a, um, what was an, alien, an spaceship. alien spaceship yeah. in the town of Socorro. So we saw that, that was fine. <laughs> We saw that and we got gas and then we got back on the freeway and then pretty soon Steve saw something else he wanted to see. He's just like a raccoon with shiny things when it comes to anything alien. So we got to camp after four, but we had a fun day. So today with Noelis, the driver, she's assuring me straight there. It's a two she, hours drive. We're not stopping no matter what. So I've already, well, I've already peed in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my coffee, my beverage, so I'm prepared to just two hours straight. No stopping no matter what. Well, I didn't say no matter what. I'm just yeah. saying. I think Noelle is trying to say that I lack focus. I don't say you lack focus. What would you say? I say you like the shiny things. I do. Luckily, though, I found a place today in Hooper, Colorado, that's all about aliens. So I guess that's where we're headed. It's not really in the direction we were going, but... It's in a northerly direction. It'll be good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go. Well, in the end, it took us longer than two hours to get to our destination. We stopped to wash the truck in camper. We got some groceries and then we ate lunch. But now we are at the very windy UFO watchtower. We've been to a bunch of different watchtower places, and this was very unique, I guess, in comparison to the other sites we've been to. Each, I guess, each place we've gone to for UFOs, it's unique, but this was, it really had a personal twist to it. So you can see you've got this big site with all these UFO artifacts that were placed out there, but then you can bring your own artifact or trinkets or memento and decorate the artifacts that have already been placed there. So it really adds a nice little personal touch to the whole site. You can stay here in your RV for 15 bucks a night. There's, there's no hookups. Or if you just want to tour the facility and not spend the night, it's like five bucks and you can wander through it. So here you can see people left behind bracelets or necklaces. I found one section where people had left behind CDs, cassette tapes, 8-track tapes. Right there you can actually see the tower. You can go up there. It's just like a observation deck. You can go up there and watch for UFOs. Oh, Gudita? I think this is Gudita. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. It's a... Yeah. That little chicken? Yeah. It's named Gudita? I think so. Hmm. Could be wrong. <laughs> I found some of the trinkets people left behind to be unusual. But then again, you know, I wasn't leaving any trinkets behind myself, so who am I to judge what other people leave behind? But it seemed a little wacky, <laughs> some, of the, <laughs> some of the things. A fine line between a personal memento and personal trash. We spent the night at the UFO Watchtower here in Colorado, in Hooper, Colorado. And aside from picking up uh, a few stickers, you know, a sticker for my laptop, got another little memento to add to our collection up here on the dash. So while I'm getting ready to stick it on the dash, what can we tell you about this place? It's quirky. I mean, it, it's really quirky. And I think if you can handle quirky and unusual, this is a good stop for you. If you're looking for something very serious, well, maybe this isn't quite the place for you. But what I like about it, similar to like the other UFO places we've went, it's just fun. There we go. Here's our newest dashboard item. So it looks like we need to get at least one more thing up there to, to even this out. Four is a good number, so five would be good. So we need something for back here, this little row. Yeah, so I'll let you see behind it. This is our collection. No, not ours. This is Steve's collection. So we've got 
Roswell, we've got Area 51, we have the Corn Palace, which was just as quirky as going to a UFO place, and now we have the UFO bo Boardwalk. Watchtower. Watchtower, okay. So, this is how we travel. Uh, why do we like, like boondocking? Why do we like not having a schedule? Because yesterday morning when we woke up, we had no plans of coming here. And yeah, here we were. 15 bucks for overnights, hard to beat. Here we are at the Windy Camp UFO Watchtower. We stayed here last night. It was pretty cool. Um, we did not see any UFOs, but we sure did look. And uh, we got to meet Judy yesterday. She's the owner of this awesome place. And she used to make her granddaughters dress up like little aliens and go out towards the highway and dance around so that cars would come in here. She said she doesn't think they liked it that much. I think they probably have some pretty fond memories of it. Anyway, the UFO Watchtower, come and see it. It's a great place. Say hey to Judy. In the span of just an hour or two, we've gone from UFOs <laughs> to a shrine for Mary on the side of the road. It's a grotto. Yeah. Mary, also Santa, apparently. Here's the Santa alcove. So we got some water a couple weeks ago that we think is a little bit, could have been a little bit skunky. Like the day after we filled up, Noelle got sick. So she said she had some floaters. Floaters? In the water. In the water. So today we're at a an RV park uh, that has water. So I've been just essentially dumping all of our water and I'm gonna fill it back up. But I thought I would check and see if we have any gunk. Not really. Yeah, it's not bad. There's a little. Not a lot. Yeah, not bad. It's not terrible. Get it off. These are some of the things we do when we have water. Is troubleshoot our water issues. It doesn't, it doesn't really seem that bad. So a little bit of gunk. Not Terrible. I think this comes apart. Yeah. Really shouldn't have aimed that at my eyeball like that. I'm trying to let it go. It can yeah. go yeah. back in there, will it? No, it's not going anywhere. So I got a little gunk in the bottom of this as well. Hmm. Not, not a lot. A little. I think this just kind of falls into the category of like care and feeding of your, uh, your RV. Yeah, I guess like a house. You it's just like a house, yeah. Same kind of stuff. Oh, good. What? I think we're just about to run out of water. Sounds like it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear that? Thunder here. Yeah, it's coming off quickly so it doesn't hurt it.
Yay. Perfect timing for a video. <laughs> Let's see what our tank says. So fresh water still says we have a third. That's just not true. This is gray water, we're two thirds full. Black water, we're two thirds full. Black water's empty, I just dumped it. And so now I'll run a little more water through this and then I'll dump the gray. Now I'm feeding uh, fresh water into our fresh water tank and just run it here through a second, just for a second to... So if you're feeding it from there, do you need this pump one? Yeah. I'm feeding this into our uh, fresh water tank. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. That doesn't sound very good. Let's fill it back up. And I'll put this back on. Chunks are out. This I think I need to take apart. I think I've got a leak in there. I think so too. Yeah, that's not a project I'm doing today though. We'll do that on a different day. As with any of the projects that we perform on Cupcake, watch us, learn from us, <laughs> but don't do them. Yeah, learn what not to do. So in this particular case, don't do this. Unless you really want to have a good time. <laughs> we were just moving our camper a little ways <laughs> so that we could get better cell reception. I didn't want to put my shoes back on, so I just rode in the back. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. We, maybe we traveled about 300 yards. Yeah, not it was, very it was not far. A, yeah, not a big distance. Run. And I was driving very slow and very careful. It was a little bumpy. You can see that. A little bumpy. Like little bumps in the front equate to big bumps back here. Certainly for me, you know, seeing this, I have a better understanding of why our stuff is always falling off the walls. Or, <laughs> Flying to the ground. Yeah, you know, why we're harvesting all of our personal possessions yeah. off the floor when we come in. Like, it was literally hard for me to sit up sometimes. I don't think I'd put a dog or a little child back there, but it was fun for me. Would you go back here again? Yeah, it was fun. On the short little jaunt, just like that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. After seeing your video, I don't think I would want to go back here and experience this. Well, I wouldn't go back there like going on the road or anything, but just for a short little moving to a different <laughs> space, boondocking spot, something like that. That's different. I think this video perfectly encapsulates why people should follow along with us. You're just not going to see this kind of content on any other channel. <laughs> and rightfully so. See you next week.